Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. So I decided to take a second look into Madden 24 versus Madden 21, and I wanted to do something similar that I've done before where I record about eight minutes of gameplay and I just compare the two using the same player. Something that you saw me do with B. John Robinson a handful of videos ago. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. So the rules are pretty straightforward. All plays shown will be of Jonathan Taylor. Both games are gonna have the same number of highlights, which is 11, and both games are gonna use the same settings. As far as settings go, it's all pro difficulty, simulation style, and zero on the threshold slash parity scale. We're gonna kick off the video with Madden 24, and that's just simply because I don't have very much gameplay of it on my channel. Jumping right into the highlights. That was a very soft tackle. Like, I don't really know what to say to that. Not bad there, nice little wrap up tackle. Again, what is that tackle? This is supposed to be next gen Madden, Madden 24, and that's what we get. That wasn't too bad. I don't really have too much to say on some of these right here. I'm just trying to get back into the hole and then I, I can't get him to do like a little one cut and get up field. I guess you have to do that with the analog. Um, a little shoestring tackle. Again, I'm just, sometimes I'm just fighting to get through these blockers and there's like unnecessary cuts. I'm just trying to swerve around my lineman and, and in that situation, he cut a little bit too much. Right here, notice I juke into him, but then the animation makes me fall away from him. That was just really confusing to me. A nice filled stiff arm, nothing, nothing bad with that. I've already spoken about the running animation. To me, it's just, it's just really hoppy. I don't know, let's just look at it right here. It just seems like, he seems like a little, a little chubby kid running with the ball. I don't know, I just don't like it, guys. All right, shifting over to Madden 21, and this is the next gen version. Do not buy old gen. A lot of these, I'm not gonna have anything to really say about it. Other than that, that was a clear teleportation. The dude teleported to me to tackle me. Uh, you can't really see it too much on my little replay right there, but not too bad. Um, I'm just, I just think Madden 21 Next Gen plays a little bit smoother and looks a little bit better. I know everyone just has their personal opinions. I think I ran over the linebacker and number 90 tackled me. Started to truck him and then the other linebacker came and tackled me. Not too bad. Again, okay, he kind of rolled around a little awkwardly at the end, but the tackle itself was fine. Ran over the, who's that, Kenny Vaccaro I ran over? Not really sure. Play looks pretty good. A little screen pass here. Again, he closed down on me. I watched it back in slow motion. He actually had the momentum to make that tackle, so I was not upset with that. Right there, that animation is not bad. You're going to see it here in a second. I'm going to replay it. The animation itself was not bad, but the speed of it was. He kind of over pursued me and I shrugged it off. The animation choice was good. They just need to slow the animation speed down. Right here, I'm not really sure what happened. There's 24, 25, and 54. Uh, I think one of the safeties came down and pushed me back. Oh, right here, the running animation. This looks so much better. Can we just collectively agree? Oof, okay, there was some shifting and warping right there at the end. Yeah, definitely not the smooth animation, but I like the way the players move. So here we are at the conclusion. If we take in everything on Madden 24, you saw my main complaints were weak tackles, momentum being disrespected in the animation that played out, even though it was a smooth animation, and then also too, I don't like the way the ball carrier moves. It's really hoppy super upright, bouncy, kind of wildly looking. It looks like kind of like a, a chubby kid running the ball. I really don't like it. When we take into what's wrong with Madden 21, most of my complaints are there's a little bit of warping that happens when you're close enough to the ball carrier. He'll kind of like teleport to you to tackle you. The running animation itself is smooth. Uh, there might be a little bit of rolling around, warping on the ground post play. But overall, I feel like my momentum is respected on Madden 21, and the animations look better. So which game is better, Madden 24 or Madden 21? As far as the next-gen versions go, I have to give the edge to Madden 21.
I'm sure this isn't a surprise to most of you who have seen the videos I've posted before comparing these two games. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time. It will probably be maybe Madden 21. It's supposed to be Madden 18. Haven't made up my mind there. But God bless you. Jesus loves you. Elder the Great. Out.